This is a follow-up video to the DNU story that I did about Tyrese Hapsil. And um, I had got a little bit of pushback from some of the people in the comment section. They're saying that there has to be more to this story. They believe it was more than one person involved with this. And, you know, I can understand when it comes to black people that many cannot believe or probably do not want to believe that a black person can be capable of committing a crime such as this. To that I say, have you watched my channel for the last couple of years? Because I have done quite a few stories where it talks about crazy crimes that black people have committed, whether against another black person or another person of another group. Now, it's not every update is going to put that, oh, he was framed thing to, um, to bed. But one thing I did want to mention before I get into that, one other update that came out is that um, he has pled not guilty to this crime. Um, they said that they believe he's going to be railroaded with this case. They don't believe he's going to get a fair trial. I'm not sure how, you know, what all of that is going to or how all of that is going to play out. But they it seems to me like they with the information they have already on this guy. They are ready to literally put him through the ringer already. But this right here that you see is a picture of him. He has a mask on and he's walking and he has some balloons. Now, if you notice, the balloons have a number on it says 22. So I'm assuming he's going to a birthday party of some sort. And whoever's party he's going to, the person is turning 22. Mind you, he's 21. So this person is close in age range to him. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from the New York Post that was uh, made on July 18th, 2020. And the title reads, Tyrese Haspil spotted buying balloons after Fahim Salah's murder. Now, this man just has been accused of brutally murdering his boss. And now he's just walking around as if nothing happened. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Menendez story. You know, with the Menendez brothers, when they killed their parents and then they went out gallivanting on their dime. You, by the time I get through this article, you'll see a pattern here. Just two days after tech millionaire Fahim Salah was murdered and dismembered in his Lux Lower East side apartment his accused killer and trusted employee tyree haspill was ready to party now mind you this is two days later a shocking series of videos obtained by the post show a seemingly carefree haspill and a mystery female companion strolling through noho just a mile from the crime scene and even picking up a bouquet of birthday balloons allegedly on his dead boss's dime This guy is the new American psycho, only dumber, one law enforcement source said. Haspil turned a blithe big city tourist, followed his alleged two-day stint as cold-blooded killer, authority says. On Monday, Haspil allegedly followed his boss, Salah, age 33, the CEO of ride-hailing firm Gokata, into his $2.2 million East Houston Street apartment, stunning him with a taser and then stabbing him to death. Prosecutors say over a dispute thousand dollars embezzled by Haspill. Now, mind you, they said that this guy embezzled ninety thousand dollars and he just spent money for these balloons on his dead boss's dime. I'm willing to bet by the time I get to this article, he's used that card some more times. On Tuesday, a female relative came to check on him found the well-liked entrepreneur decapitated with his limbs stuffed into a garbage bag inside the home. A power saw used in the dismemberment was still plugged into the wall. Haspill had been cleaning up and covering his tracks in the apartment at the time, but bolted when the relative buzzed to be let inside, law enforcement sources have alleged. That does not sound like somebody who was framed to me. This screams somebody who knew what they were doing. And they had this well thought out. That's why it kind of shocked me that he had second degree murder. But I read in the chat when the video was premiering that they said in New York that they don't have a first degree murder charge. So I guess second degree is the highest they can get them on, which kind of throws me off a little bit. But then again, it is New York. On Wednesday, as investigators were sifting through the horrific crime scene for clues, Haspill 
allegedly decided some rest and relaxation was in order. He rented a loft like Airbnb just across lower Manhattan at Crosby and Bleecker Streets. Surveillance video shows a man the sources have identified as Haspil, excuse me, hopping into cabs for some retail therapy, taking strolls with his curvy mysterious mystery pal and picking up the metallic gold helium balloons he allegedly bought with Salah's credit card. Now, mind you, the boss is dead already. He's dead. This guy is spending his boss, his dead boss's money to just go buy whatever he wants. Again, that does not sound like somebody who was framed to me. Again, I know some of you in the comment section want this to be more than what it is. But let's be real here. This guy murdered his boss because he got greedy. He got caught. And instead of owning up to what he did and just paying the money back, which the boss is pretty much allowing him to do, like, you know, you know, he had a big heart because he could have easily turned him in right then and there. He was allowing he was giving him a lifeline and he basically took threw it away and decided to throw his entire life away by taking someone else out. As cops continue processing evidence throughout the day, Wednesday and Thursday, particularly a left behind taser and cleaning supplies, which he allegedly bought at a 23rd Street Home Depot with Salah's card. Now, look at that. Not only did he. um, You know buy all of this stuff like this stuff with his car but he bought it other stuff like what he was using now someone said in the comment section he had to be close to his finances i went back and looked he was close to his finances he was his personal assistant and he actually did have access to his finances that's how he was able to embezzle all of that money that's why i said he worked very close to him i mean that means he would have had to been getting paid pretty good, but he got greedy. And that's the point about us. Like I'm telling you, greed does not have a color. Anybody can be greedy. And when, when greed starts to take over, you're liable to do just about anything for it. It says Haspil and his gal pal came and went from his rented pad. Mind you, still on his dead boss's dime. Multiple videos show her walking with Haspil. While carrying a leather tote bag from the pricey APC store on Mercer Street. Credit card records show he personally bought the bag for her. A source similar with the purchase said. In one video, the woman gets out of an Uber with Hapsil and is carrying a shopping bag from Christian Louboutin. At 2.20 p.m. Wednesday, Hapsil was captured on video a curbside delivery of three gold colored birthday balloons, two shaped like a two and the third shaped like a heart. I'm willing to bet. I wonder if those balloons were for her, because I mean, it seems like he's going on a major shopping spree for this chick. Haspil, who had turned 21 in January and so was unlikely to be buying birthday balloons for himself, enjoyed just two days of shopping and celebrating at the NoHo apartment. So he was buying this for himself. Huh. But that's no, I, I read that wrong. It said he just turned 21. It couldn't be for him because he because he's not just turning 22. Early Friday morning, at least a dozen cops converge on the hideaway. Still more surveillance video shows cops walking a cuffed hat spill to a waiting car. Later that day, the gold balloons would be visible from the street. Sagging against the inside of the apartment's distinctive hats will be seen. At an early Saturday arraignment, prosecutor says surveillance videos provides overwhelming evidence that Haspil did indeed murder his boss. Haspil was caught on camera at the Home Depot buying the saw and cleaning supplies found at the crime scene. Manhattan Assistant District Attorney Linda Ford alleges Haspil has been ordered held without bail on charges of second degree murder. His lawyers have cautioned against rushing to judgment. We are in the very earliest stages of ferreting out the truth. The life of this case promises to be long and complex, they said Saturday. We urge the public to keep an open mind. There is much more to this narrative than the accusations and arrest by the police and a charge by the district attorney. To me, it sounds like they're saving face, but it looks like now this is going to be a story that I am also going to have to attach myself to. 
But as it stands right now, it's not looking too good for him, especially for the simple fact that this guy is has been spending money that he knows is not his on his dead boss's dime. All they got to do is pull that stuff back up in the records. And it doesn't look like he did that much shopping either. Like they said, he got some balloons. He bought this his lady friend some designer stuff and the stuff and the supplies that he used to kill his boss and to clean his mess up. And he did all of that in two days. But like I said, this is what greed will do to a person. It will. This is what it will do. But this is the latest update right now as it stands. And y'all can choose to agree with me or disagree with me when it comes to this situation right here. And I know why people might, you know, say it has to be way more to it than this. Because like I said in the beginning, because you don't want to believe a black person could actually do something like this. I said, y'all better wake up. You'll be surprised. Shoot, there's some black people out there that will do worse than this. If money is the motive.